What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another player of the month review. We are seeing Stindl grab the Bundesliga player of the month boys. The guy has 67 pace and if we're comparing this card to his inform when it comes down to pace, we are only looking at a plus 5 to pace. EA, what's happening? Why don't you give this guy a plus 10, a plus 15? Try to make this guy usable in FIFA 21. Because we all know for a fact, a player with 62 sprint speed and 73 acceleration isn't going to be great this year. We all know it for a fact. And the fact they only gave him a plus 5 kind of hurts my soul a little bit. But if we are comparing the other stats to his inform, we are looking at plus 4 to dribbling, a plus 4 to defending, a plus 4 to physicals, a plus 4 to passing, and a plus 3 to shooting as well. Now, if we just leave it on this screen, he doesn't look too bad because 5 foot 11, pretty decent for a cam or centre mid. Medium, medium work rate, pretty decent. 4 star, 4 star, you're getting excited and then you hop onto their tributes and then everything goes down the drain you need pace to be increased you need his long passing to be increased you need his agility to be increased and you wouldn't mind the strength and aggression to be increased as well but you're not going to get a chem style that increases all of that so i've gone for a finisher and the reason i've gone for a finisher is because my mindset is i'm going to play this guy in a cam position because of how good his finishing stats are i feel like if i can try to get that little cheeky twist and turn and hit him with a cheeky finesse shot trait it's going to go in with a player that has done 99 shot power and 89 long shots. Surely, right? Because let's all be fair. You give this guy a hunter. You give this guy a shadow chem style. It's only giving plus 10 acceleration and plus 10 sprint speed. And yes, I did say only plus 10. The reason I say that is because 62 sprint speed to 72 sprint speed. Let's all be fair. It's not going to make the biggest of difference, okay? So I might as well try to make this guy as agile as possible in the ball. Get him to go for those twists and turns and hit him with a little finesse shot, you know? And let's see if it goes in because pace-wise, it's game over. But shooting ability, he has got 96 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 99 shot power, 89 long shots, 99 volleys with the knife high penalties, and as I did say, both shooting traits. Passing ability, 93 vision, 82 crossing, 76 freaky accuracy, 90 short passing, 79 long passing with the 85 curve. The only thing I would like to get upgrade upgraded there is obviously the long passing, but you can't obviously have everything on this card. Now when it comes down to the dribbling, it actually looks pretty good. 84 agility, 91 balance, 91 reactions 90 ball control 99 dribbling with the 90 composure and if you are feeling to play this guy in a sentiment position i definitely do advise to go for a shadow chem style because you're not going to need the finishing as much as you do in like a cam position but it's not going to make the biggest difference to the defending stats so let's all be fair right Six, 67 interceptions even if you give a plus 10 it's only going to be 77 and that's not even great so he has got 66 defensive awareness 68 standing tackling with the 56 fly tackling as well and if we are looking at the physical stats, 82 stamina. It's not too bad, right? It's, it's one of those ones where he might last for that, throughout the whole 90 minutes, depending on how much work he actually does in the game. He has got 76 strength with the 81 aggression as well. Now, when it comes down to the links, Bello Arby and Mukieli. The guy has pretty decent links, so let's all be fair. Of course, guys, like so Rodriguez, Aguero and Son in this team. As I said, I will be playing Stindl in a 4-2-3-1 in that cam position, but I am going to try him in a sentiment position in a 4-4-2 as well. But let's get into the games. So let's see how he feels on the ball. Hopefully he feels pretty decent because that was the idea of the finisher chem style, trying to make him go for those quick twists and turns. He doesn't feel too bad. Left stick dribbling feels very nice. R1 dribbling seems pretty decent as well. Okay. Alan, over to Stindl. Stindl with a little cheeky LBY all the way over to the top. That's a beautiful pass. Over to Stindl. Nice little touch. Go for the little gap there. Well played. Give it to better RB down the line. I want to see his movement. So he is playing in a cam position. Going to pass it to him right there. But the thing is, right, with Stindl, and I did notice it right there, he's not fast enough to get into those positions very quick. So he is going to be very slow when obviously going forward and trying to find the little gaps. Rodriguez. You see how he moves into the gaps? This is what I mean, right? He's a player that does move into those little gaps, but it's a very slow kind of movement. Oh my God. Who's that in goal? Who is that in goal? Because I want to know who that is because what kind of animation was that? Do you see the shot power though? That was my go-to. I need to make sure I get this guy on the edge of the box and just go for those finesse shots because if it does, it's most likely going to go in. Oh, this Dindle. Oh, I kind of wanted to give that little through ball there. Look at the acceleration he got, by the way, off that little step over. My God. Go on. Oh my god, you see the acceleration he's getting off that step over and then he instantly slows down straight after. Stindl, 
Nice little turn. Kind of want to go for a burrow spin. There you go. I'm going to go for the finesse shot as well. What did I say? This is how you have to use him. Give a finisher Kemso on this guy and look at him. Burber spin into the angle. Go for the shot. It goes in. Pass right there. Give him the ball right there. Well played. Ball roll inside. Give it to Aguero. One more to Stindle. Bring it forward. Give it to Allen. Going to call Stindle back short. I told him to make a run, but I'm telling him to come short, but he's not really listening to me. There you go. Oh my God. I didn't even click a button. Literally, left analog stick, just aiming forward, and he takes that big of a touch. Aguero. I see Stindle in the middle, boys. Little flick up. I'm going to go for it. Why not at the end of the day? Let's go. Bring it forward. Come on. Flick up again. Bring it over. Over him again. Oh, stop it. Oh, <gasps> no. Come on. Come on, that deserves a goal. He's done absolutely insane to get into the angle. All he needed to do was obviously finish it. Now, I'm saying that like it was an easy finish. Let's all be fair. Stindle up in the air. It shouldn't really be to... So, we missed that chance. And then he goes ahead and scores this. Is he going to... What is he doing? He's putting a thumbs up on me, isn't he? Interesting. So, I've put Stindle in that striker position simply because I kind of want to try him in that, like, target man kind of role. I want to see if he can obviously hold up the play, go for a quick turn, and obviously go for a quick finish. He did it pretty good, obviously, in a cam position. I just want to see if he can do it in a striker position. Over to Stindle. Going to switch the play all the way to the other side. It is going to be a perfect pass. Aguero surely gets onto the end of that. Yeah, he does. Fake shot into the inside. Pass to Felix. Oh, I'm trying to... Ah, oh, Stindle did make a pretty decent run there, though. Over to Allen. Over to Stindle. Shall I make him run in behind? Go on. Go on. There you go. Little pass to Felix. Oh my god. Come on. Make her run in behind. Pass right there. Pass to Stindle. Go for that fake shot. Ah, oh, this is what I mean, right? Because he's not that fast and because he's going to be one of those players that you really can't get round corners with, it's just going to be so, so awkward when you're right up close to like a centre back, like a Varane or like a Campbell, let's say. Stindle acceleration come on run oh my god that's the thing right you cannot go for those little runs with him you really can't he's more of a player that's gonna come short towards you he's gonna find a little gaps you're gonna take that touch you're gonna turn and you're gonna pass away or you're gonna take the shot do not try to run with this guy because trust me it will not end well son of the aguero of the stindle passes back to aguero come on stindles you see that little gap right surely you see that little gap come on there you go Fake shot backwards. That's beautiful. Pass the Son. This should be a guaranteed goal. It's simple as that. Really nice turn. It, he took his time to get into the space, but he eventually got there. Little turn. Take it up. Pass it through the gap. He's passing, boys. I'm telling you, man. He's passing is so, so good. He passes it through these little gaps. He makes the overtop through balls look so, so easy. Stindle. Nice little R1 dribbling. Going to go for that overtop through ball. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. The passing is where it's about on this card. So it is time to review him. Four games played. Two goals scored with a single assist as well. Now, this card, we all knew for a fact. He wasn't going to take it to the next level. We all knew he wasn't going to be a card that takes you from gold one to elite three. Or like an elite three to an elite two. All right? It just wasn't going to happen. Because the card doesn't really fit the meta to be a cam. To even be a centre mid or to even be a CDM, okay? Yes, he's got a really good shot to his game. Yes, his passing ability is top tier. Yes, he's got pretty decent dribbling ability. And he's got okay physicals. But the pace this year is the main thing to look at. If you see a centre mid with no pace, most likely their transition speed isn't going to be great. Or let's say him on the ball. He's not going to be able to run with the ball. So you know for a fact he's going to obviously turn. And if your opponent knows that, he's just going to press you. Like my opponents did. Plenty on plenty on plenty of times. So with this card, it's, you know, it's one of those ones where if you do him, it's not the end of the world. If you don't do him, it's not the end of the world. If you're a Bundesliga fan and you've got a Bundesliga team, he's only 40,000 coins. Go ahead and get him. But if you know for a fact you're never, ever, ever going to use this card in your team, then don't do him. It's simple as that. Pace-wise, though, I'm going to give his pace, I would honestly say, like a, a 6.8 out of 10. I did not find it great at all. The only thing that I found pretty decent was, was the little step -overs, with, step overs with him. It gave him a little bit of an acceleration boost. Shooting ability, I felt like his shot was actually really, really nice. I love the shot power behind it. I just wish he scored that little bit of bicycle kick. Because if he did, oh, the bicycle kick would have been absolutely insane. But for shooting ability, I am going to give this guy, I would honestly say, like an 8.8 .8 to an 8.9 out of 10. Really, really good. 
passing ability. I love these passes. Over top through balls, RBAs, wide balls, RB wide balls. Everything worked when it came down to passing. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll honestly say, like an 8.8 .8 out of 10 as well. Dribbling ability. Even though... His left stick dribbling wasn't too bad and his R1 dribbling wasn't too bad. You still could see the fact of the pace needed to come into play in some angles. So for dribbling, I am going to give this guy, I would honestly say, like an 8 out of 10. As I said, it wasn't too bad, but it was quite average, you know. Defending, I noticed in so many occasions that his interceptions was going straight under his legs or straight past him. I noticed where his defensive awareness in that sentiment or even CDM position was not great. And I do understand that you guys are probably sitting there, right, saying, oh yeah, because you haven't got a Shadow Chem style on this card, it would have been a whole different story. But let's all be fair. Shadow Chem style, even on this card, wouldn't make the biggest of difference. So for defending, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like a 7 out of 10. You also have to take into consideration the work rates. If this guy had like a medium high, he would be better positioned when obviously defending. But because it's a medium medium and they tend to not go too far deep, it kind of leaves those little gaps in behind. But for physicals, I am going to give his physicals, I would honestly say, I would say like a, an 8 out of 10. I don't feel like it was too bad. It's just... You know, there's nothing really to talk about. The stamina was okay, the strength was okay, and the aggression was okay. So you can't really give him lower than an 8 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, I'm going to honestly give this card, I would say like a 7.9. Turn an 8 out of 10. As I said, it's not a bad card. Like a 4 star, 4 star, he's got it. The work rate for a camp, he's got it. Shooting, passing, dribbling, pretty decent. But then if you're talking about the pace and the defending, that's when you have to obviously lower the rating. But yeah, I'll give him like a 7.9 to an 8 out of 10 easily. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.